Hello everyone. If you're like me, sometimes you overlook really simple things. So I'm going to show you something that I overlooked and I looked online for the answer. Didn't see a quick video on it because it's actually kind of obvious, but I just I just didn't think through the process. So if you're like me, this video is for you. It's just going to save you a little bit of time. So from this point forward, spoiler warning, there's a lot of spoilers here. This is end game stuff. So if you don't want spoilers, go away right now. All right. So if you're like me, you went up to one of these flames that's been doused and you were like, all right, cool. Beat that boss. Time to light the flame. And then it says, perhaps it can be rekindled with something. And then you go to your inventory and you're like, ah, oh, there's a glowing thing. So you go to the glowing thing, which is the shiny mirror that they sh talked about in, like, the partner stories. And you use it, and it says nothing happened, and it tells you the two gods gaze upon the sacred flames. The days? Dies? Whatever it is. And then each place has two god statues with it. So this one is Prince of Thieves, Aber. And this one is Elfric, the flame bringer. So what you need to do to light the flames in the locations is you need to make sure that you have the character that matches that god. Meaning, right now, I need to make sure that I have, on my team, Throne and Temenos. And if you think about it, that kind of makes sense because these are the characters that were partnered together in the partner stories. For the others, you need like Hikari and Agnia, for example. And they had their own partner story. So anyways, if we do the same thing now. We go to the inventory. Shiny mirror. Mirror reflects the memories of the sacred flame. And it'll play the cutscene for whichever one you're on. So, hopefully that helps you out. And let me know in the comments below if it did. Have a good one, everyone.